In this video, we're going to create the second screen for this iOS app. Now, in case you haven't checked out the first video where we're creating this screen from scratch, I invite you to do so, but if not, you can easily just continue directly with this video here. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the duplicate tool. So we're going to just drag and drop this one while holding shift and the option key. And uh, as you can see, we created a duplicate of this very first screen. Now I'm also going to rename these two artboards. And uh, in this screen, we're actually going to remove all of these options right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the menu. And uh, basically, we're going to change the colors right here. So since we're going to be in the second menu item, and uh, there we go. All right. So in this specific type of, uh, of screen, we're actually going to create a to do list. So what we need is a different layout slightly. So I'm just going to bring these elements here on the bottom. And here we're going to change this to today. And uh, right below it, we're going to change the date to the 20th. July of 2020. All right, or actually, let's do 2021 since uh, we're just about to enter this year. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, we're going to add, uh, uh, actually, let's keep it at the same height uh, for the time being, and then we're, we can easily decide uh, if we want to change it. All right, so far, so good. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, a section below. It's going to be, let's just leave it today for now. And we're going to make this a section higher. Let's remove this. Let's remove this. We're going to grab these two textiles from the other artboard. So as you can see, you can easily drag and drop uh, these textiles. And uh, that's going to make the work easier for us. So this is going to be um appointment with uh, dr john and uh, we're going to change this to the actual uh data and time so this is going to be 20th of july 2021 we're also going to add the time so it's going to be 9 30 am all right so far so good what we're gonna do is we're going to add some uh, icons right here so again i'm going to pull off this uh, with uh, nuclear icons and uh, we're going to essentially add a date icon which uh, or actually let's uh, maybe type in calendar and uh, this is pulling up some other queries we're going to use this calendar icon and uh, we're also going to use uh, a time icon right here. All right, so far, so far, so good. Let's center these ones and uh, I'm going to bring this one here. Let's make these uh, a blue color, the same one which we have right here or actually I need to unframe them before I do that so let me do that and then there we go all right so we have uh, our basic uh, element right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate this I'm going to create a check mark and let's uh, out of the stroke, let's remove the drop shadow and uh, probably want to have this uh, of a darker color. Yep, that will do. And let's make it a little bit bigger. Still, let's keep the same proportions. So it's going to be 18 by 18 and maybe not as dark the stroke all right 
So this is already starting to look pretty good. And uh, I think this uh, is a good start. Now what we want uh, is also to add an arrow right here. Which is going to indicate the fact that uh, we have more options. And the uh, other thing that we want to have right here is uh, just a symbol. Let's remove this stroke. Let's add a one right here. Actually, I'm going to copy and paste the style of this one. Oops. Let's bring it up and let's change the color right. Let's make it a touch smaller. And uh, I think we're good to go. All right. So that's uh, that. Uh, and uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, another section right here. It's going to be called to do. Actually, let's make both of these uh, bold. So that's going to look better bring them a little bit more on the right. And uh, now let's add some uh, to-do items. All right, I'm going to add uh, a divider line right here, center it, just to be sure it's all, it's all working well. And I'm going to duplicate these a few times, see how this looks. Um, so far so good, but I want a little bit more of a visual differentiation. So maybe let's have it to do with thin I to do. So far, so good. I'm going to change this one to blue. And let's add a check icon. So as you can see here, we have a check icon, which we can easily leverage. Let's make this one white. And let's zoom out. As you can see, this is already starting to look pretty interesting. And uh, one thing that we want to do is also to add uh, a high priority element. So let's do that uh, right here. Let's bring this one to the very back. And uh, let's uh, make this one towards a red color, more or less. Let's add a little bit of a soft edge. To be six. Let's make this one the same red but with full value. Let's also add this one right here. All right, so this is starting to look pretty interesting. And uh, in order to create some more visual differentiation, maybe let's try and uh, let's create uh, a version where we have some, some green. So this is going to be purposely a section which we want to stand out. And uh, let's make this one, yeah, maybe a green around these lines could work. And uh, let's make these, uh, this color, let's make these ones greens as well. Grab the lines, 
change the stroke and there we go maybe let's make it a little bit lighter yep. that will do okay now what we need is to change uh, the values since it's uh, only the same day and uh, that doesn't look uh, quite right let's start with the dates first This one is going to be an extremely early one, <laughs> and uh, this one's going to be 11. All right. receive paycheck let's say that this one since it's green it's going to be something positive so it's going to be um, all right so far so good now one more thing that we want to have right here is uh, some sort of icon in order in order to access a general menu so let's add that one right now and uh, going to go with the with the outline there we go also let's add uh, um maybe some dots no, actually, I think that the menu in and of itself is going to be enough in this case. So let's just stick with that option. This is going to be like an extra menu, something that might be relevant specifically for this section of the app. All right. Yeah, so far, so good. Let me just try and make this one gray, just for the sake of variety right here. And um, yeah, I think this one is uh, it's looking good overall. It's looking quite interesting. And um, now what we want to do is to actually, well, we missed uh, an icon right here. So what we're gonna do before we clean everything up, uh, is going to use Unsplash and i'm going to search for a profile picture or actually let's search for a doctor and uh, we're going to select uh, an image which can look good in this case that is going to be framed okay a bit of a tricky one let's, let's use this one here all right maybe if, if we can center it somehow uh, it's gonna be a little bit tricky oh actually yeah we can do it all right perfect so far so good so what we're gonna do now is we're simply going to um, rename uh, any element here that needs to be renamed it's going to be profile, it's going to be menu. So I'm just going to move side by side with uh, the layering options to make it easier. You could have easily also created the layering here first and then in the second stage, but it's totally fine. You can do it uh, also in a second uh, stage. So it's going to be menu. It's going to be also menu. 
then over here we have icon and let's uh, basically select all of them group them together it's going to be the search right surgeon this is assistant and uh, over here going to select all of this and uh, <clears throat> or actually let me change the rectangle let me just do one thing all these rectangles will follow these numbers They're kind of annoying so I'm just going to select all of them right here and I'm going to re bulk rename them with a very cool feature it's going to enable us to save time and work more efficiently. So I have all of these selected. Just use command plus R, rename them to rectangle, and boom. All of them, they have the same name now. So it's all going to be clean. Let's group this one together. Appointment and doctors. Doctor one. and doctor two and this one is going to be actually let's rename all of these to icons bottom menu so the same also here bottom menu and now let's double check that uh, everything is in the right place. So this one should be on the top. This one right afterwards. Surgeon assistant on the bottom. Let's make assistant afterward, after that one. Let's, oops, let's bring the appointment here. Or actually the, the bottom menu should be at the very bottom. Then we have the doctors, doctor one, doctor two, let's rename line. And this one is all clear. Now, this one right here, we need to update it. So, over here, let's select all of these. It's going to be today. It's going to be. Them top to do. Then uh, let's group uh, all of these. And actually, we missed this one here. Let's group it all together. Call it tag. Let's also group uh, these ones together. Call it checklist. And uh, so far, so good. Now let's group this one, this one, this one, and this one to one single unit. It's going to be one, it's going to be two, it's going to be three, and four. Let's bring this one here, this one here, and this one here. And the bottom menu should be at the very bottom. This line is between one and two. This one is here and this one should be at the bottom. All right, so we have it uh, all finished and uh, cleaned up. So I hope you enjoyed the, this uh, tutorial and I'll uh, see you in the next one.